just ridiculous. Like, like there nothing stands a chance against this build. So it is. Hello everyone and welcome to build number two um, from the top five uh, beer school builds. Um, this time, this is the long version of the Metamorphosis build of the top five builds. Um, so we're getting into more details with this video about the Metamorphosis build uh, with the beer school um, armor. So starting off first, this is the more detailed version of it. Uh, so we'll get to any situation um, in this game and what this makes this build so special. And um, if you haven't seen the, the overview of all vi video videos uh, of the top five beer builds, I will um, look down in the description. And starting off first, how to make the best metamorphosis build for the beer school technique, for especially in my case. Uh, so we're starting off first with the 2009 Steel Sword because it is just the strongest Steel Sword game uh, built in the game. So we just repair it so we have the damage getting back to it and it's 100%. Um, I don't have anything smaller with me to repair it but yeah never mind. I have enough money to purchase new um, in this game so should be fine. Yeah, so we are using the Tuzanite Steel Sword with this increased range of wheel because this build is focusing on rain, uh, like let's say strong and wheel attacks. Um, as the Silver Sword I'm using Gas Heft, not the Arundite. The reason for that is that um, the Gas Heft have 100% critical hit damage bonus and 50% critical hit chance. Uh, the reason for that is when we want to trigger Metamorphosis we need to have critical effects um, so it it uh, triggers metamorphosis so we get an extra potion or decoction uh, to it so that's the reason we are using the gas heft and the similar effect is coming to the nilf guardian Ga gardens gauntlets um, so i change it for the urzen gauntlets even they have a higher protection but uh, we are focusing here on the meta metaphor 4, so we have a 50% additional critical hit damage bonus. Uh, as the main armor, as the build says, we're using the Yurzen armor, also called as the beer armor. And we're having levity on it for the light armor, which has a boost in uh, fast attacks, if it makes sense. But yeah, this build is not that important what you put on the Urzen, you can, so you can change. It doesn't need to be levity or something can also be something else it's not mandatory for this build uh, we are having again equip everything with quen and side intensity and we use the decoction because to heal ourselves while getting damage and, and consuming stamina and we are switching this time the troll decoction so we don't need that for this build and we are using uh, the superior tony oil and we're using the water hack decoction. Uh, we, first of all, we don't have enough to trigger the troll decoction, but we don't also need it because we will we will have perfectly the toxicity with the super tony hole and having an additional stamina regeneration. Then we are using the water hack decoction, so the damage yield is increased when Telti is at maximum, which just gives us a crazy amount of boost. Um, coming to the build itself and what we use for this, uh, I used two. Um, I used two strong, uh, too fast, and two strong attacks. Always safe. Hello everyone, and a short notice. Um, I started a Discord channel. Uh, the link is down below where you can enter uh, my community in, in Discord, where I will be showcasing a couple of builds. You can also have the opportunities like, hey. Uh, Jeff, have you tried this build? Um, so you can also recommend me builds I can uh, include into my top five or in general explain the builds, what makes them strong, what makes them special. So if you're interested in that, the link is down below. You can also have the opportunity to like showcase your own builds. So for example, if you would like to like, hey, I have a really, really nice build, which is really strong in The Witcher 3, um, you can put it into the Discord, we can have a um, conversation about it, we can also chat about it, it's like, okay, how can we make this build stronger, is it fun to play, and 
or maybe I can include it in the next build and all your builds can be part of the top five builds. And then I will link, for example, your account included into um, the next build. So if you're interested in that, follow the link down below and see you guys in the Discord channel. Bye. With the wheel and I'm using the precise flow, so the second area or level because of the critical hit chance on top and the, the rent which is always one of the best things you can have especially for strong attacks we don't use the fleet footed because we just need the space for other things resolve and razor focus is always included or should be included if you're having um, a general combat build um, so nothing changes in this build compared to the other ones um, but this one is a bit more of focus on alchemy. The reason for that is, first of all, we need the extra alchemy to get the benefits out of the met metamorphosis. So here we have heightened tolerance, which is always acquired tolerance and synergy is, will always be the same for when you're having alchemy because these three are the best actually to have a higher toxicity and increase of the mutagen slots by 50% as you say here. So we have an attack power instead of 30% we have 60%. Same with vitality instead of 450% we have 900% which makes like which is in my opinion non-negotiable to have these three alchemies always included. What I always like to include is the protective coding. Uh, the reason for that is um, it adds 15% protection against attacks from the monster type of the all target. So we have an extra um, protection actually. Then we're having here the tissue transmutation. So we have an extra vitality boost and we are having a endurance pain. So it, it increases maximum vitality by 30% when toxicity exceeds the safe threshold. So it's kind of like a really tanky build. Um, and also, like, I mean, makes sense, you know, we're having the beer school armor, which is a tank, tank, is the most tanky armor you can have in the game, plus we have the strength of metamorphosis combined with, with the combat. Um, for extra usage of the um, metamorphosis, we use del delayed recovery plus the side effects to just get some extra um, positive effects out of the potions we consume and get for free without toxicity boost. Then we're using Hunter Instinct uh, for maximum critical hit damage similar to the Killing Spree for additional um, critical hit. Um, and as I said, we don't use this time something from the general because we don't have enough space and we are strong enough anyways. And what I said this time, this build is a bit different. We're using Metamorphosis instead of like Euphoria, uh, Euphoria is mostly the main go-to, especially with the beer school armor. Um, but Metamorphosa, I would say, is probably the second best alchemy or uh, like mutagen mutation you can have in the game. Um, the reason for that you will see in a couple of seconds. So, going to the build, we having here a 5,000 sign intensity by 40%, and the vitality is currently at 6,000. But yeah, that will change anytime soon. So when we are, for example, entering combat, I mean, I still have some, don't have enough. Thing. But yeah, let's say going here, getting the Echinar decoction, uh, Water Hack decoction, and the Suturi Tongue decoction. Um, I do take some damage. But with a critical thing, it should actually change. I mean, yesterday it worked differently. So let's have spawn spawn um, one handed 20 so so we are having here the spawns we're going here and everything what I have here is just like having a crazy amount of damage so as you can see here um, my damage boosts insanely same with the vitality. So the vitality is at 16,000. It can go up as well. Silver sword as well and the, the steel sword. So the longer we actually fight, the more damage I do, the stronger I actually get. So you see the more critical hits I'm doing. So we just spawn even more because it's just such a... Let's... I mean, let's do it just even more. Like, just... Look, I mean, it's, <laughs> now the game is kind of lagging. But like, you can see... 
we have this the typical decoctions which I have here. Okay, I can't show it with my mouse. Then we have Tony Owl, Foxtail decoction, Arrakis decoction, Archgriff decoction, and Weaver decoction. So that's just getting crazy actually. Um, and I'm just like going inside here and probably just nailing everything. So in my case, it is actually my favorite second build. And as you can see here, it is just going insane. Like we have a 44,000 damage, a 34,000 steel sword, and a 17,000 vitality. I mean, sun intensity is not a super high, but I mean, who cares? Um, there's no way that anything is giving us any damage which have any significant differences. So if we even continue with the critical hit damages, and also the good thing about that is um, while our toxicity reduces um, we also don't like we have now our toxicity at 83 percent um, 183 per I mean yeah 83 percent um, so we don't really take any damage and the, the silver sword damage and steel sword damage is just going higher higher and higher due to the critical damage so it is definitely one of the strongest builds you can have in the game um, the only thing which is a bit different I would say uh, in this one is that you can't pers I like let's let's go for the super hang decoction so we have some more protection the difference in this one it is kind of random which potion will be activated through the metamor metamorphosis if you want to be super precise you can for example delete all of them but the problem is you can't get them back actually um, and the thing is I don't think you really need it I mean some potions will be probably random activated which are not beneficial for the fight but it will not really change much on the damage you have so whatever it is the the build is just insanely crazy um, 70 72 thousand damage uh, 56 thousand damage let's so, for example, I could just spawn so much more of them. Um, and there's literally nothing which stands a chance in this build. So, yeah, I took some damage. I hope it didn't lower it down. No, it didn't. So, in this case, wait, I just don't. So, I have now three adrenaline points. And, yeah, it will not really stop with the damage. And going here. So, yeah, as you can see here, this build is literally impossible to, <laughs> to kill. Um, like whatever you, you use against any, any enemy, yeah, nothing will stand a chance. And nothing will even get close because of the wheel effect. And as you can see here, one of the caution, uh, po the cautions went away, but then a new one will be activated act automatically when I'm having any critical damage. And yeah, I mean DPS Silver Sword is at 100k, um, which is just crazy ridiculous. And yeah, the more I do, it just. So it is actually making this game so much. I mean, I mean, The Witch is generally not a super difficult game. So we don't want to take any damage. So we, yeah. So the more we do, the more. Uh, okay, need, <laughs> there were some things coming up. Um, thanks for Windows. So yeah. As you can see, as you can we see here, yeah, crazy amount of damage. The longer I'm in the fight, the stronger I actually get. Let's see if we can break the 100k. Spawn another. I mean, the question is, when do you have in the real game um, something like that? Like that many enemies. Never fight a witcher. But yeah, I don't think there's anything which makes it in any way easier oh. 
and let's see our damage right now yeah that's just insane so we having 145,000 damage uh, 100k damage <laughs> as you can see here we have a 3,000 percent in steel sword facet a critical hit chance uh, I mean you don't really need that m much damage in the build because it's anyway strong enough but it's nice to look at um, how crazy strong this build can get and yeah I took some damage but not really a lot so one thing what I, what I would like to show you as well when I'm using this super hang the cock um, thing I don't like look I don't have any um, protection now but I don't really get any damage <laughs> so there's like literally nothing what really can kill me in this game so I'm just doing that and then I'm just doing a couple of hits and I'm again full of, of health What a, and then let's see okay probably it lowered my level no it still c stays consistent as depending on the fight so now I'm throwing oops, there was nothing fitting so so and getting here damage and bam N nothing stands a chance So, that was the Metamorphosis build, um, which is part of the top 5 beer school techniques and in my case, one of the my favorite and most insane builds I come across in this game. Um, yeah, I think small thing, um, I don't know on YouTube, uh, which I just had an idea, but when I launched the metamorphosis build I think beginning of this year for the next gen I realized how strong the metamorphosis build is not um, and then afterwards they were following a lot of other videos um, yeah I, I hope I was one of the first per persons who uses the metamorphosis build and realized how strong it is like in terms of like YouTube which are three com um, gameplays um, but yeah just one thing I mentioned and I hope it was because I like was testing it out because my old videos um, there was moment of forces builds yeah so hope I kind of created a viral hype on the middle of forces build because it is just insanely strong and it's a lot of fun even if you're completely overpowered it's still a lot of fun so thanks very much for watching this video um, please leave a like or a comment and see you guys in my next video bye